I could work my will, every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips would be cooked with his own turkey mm. and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. Oh, well, not quite speechless. Oh, I'm cool. Nephew, you keep Christmas in your own way and let me keep it in mine. Christmas is a loving, honest, and charitable time. And though it's never put a scrap of gold or silver in my pocket, I believe that Christmas has done me good and will do me good. And I say, God bless it. Yes. 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 How does one celebrate Christmas on the unemployment line? Now, in these times, it was customary on Christmas Eve for well-meaning gentlemen to call upon businesses collecting donations for the poor and homeless. Mr. Scrooge, I presume? <laughs> Who are you? We're from the Order of Victoria Charity Foundation. We'd like to speak to you about a donation. <laughs> ah, welcome. This jolly old gentleman here is Mr. Scrooge. He's very generous to charities. My dear nephew. At this festive season of the year, Mr. Scrooge, many of us feel that we must take care of our poor and homeless. Are there no prisons, no poor houses? Oh, plenty of those, sir. Oh, excellent. For a moment, I was worried. Some of us are endeavouring to raise a fund for the poor and the homeless. What might I put you down for? Nothing. You wish to remain anonymous? 